okay so in this video I will show you how to configure the the multi-layer switch okay let me explain how it works here FA01 connect to the router which is this is the trunk port and FA02 going to the DHCP server and then FA03 is the the data VLAN is going to connect to the computer by itself and then FA0 it, 10 going to connect to dual VLAN which is IP phone and the PC and also FA011 going to connect to this IP phone and uh, PC so port 010 and port 011 will have a dual VLAN all right and the rest of that is going to be on the data VLAN except this one FA01 is the trunk port so let me show you the configuration here uh, let me see here notice that in the interface FA01 you put Swiss port trunk encapsulation DOT1Q and then you will put switch switch port mode trunk okay so that is referred to the here the port 01 okay now to configure the rest of that to configure the rest of it uh, to configure the rest of the port which is port 02 to maybe 09 right we're gonna configure this interface FA02 to 10 you're gonna put or going to go to the perhaps if they are like 24 port or 20 port okay for the 20 port let's say that we're going to configure interface fast ethernet 02 to 20 you're gonna put switch port access VLAN 68 right you're gonna put switch port mode access okay so 68 refer to the data VLANs okay that is the switch port mode access and then on port 11 port 10 and port 11 port 10 and 11 we going to we are going to put dual VLAN so you're gonna put interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 10 you're gonna put switch port voice VLAN 69 and also on port 0 11 you will put additional command of the switch port voice VLAN 69 therefore these two port 10 and 11 will have a dual VLAN that is referred to the pictures here that attached that is attached in this paper you see this so when the IP phone boot up it will obtain the IP address from the voice instead of from the data okay since we configure a dual dual VLANs port what else here so first we talk about the trunk port and the mode access and then we talk about this one the, for the voice VLAN and okay make sure in the beginning you need to create a VLAN right uh, I don't know if you still remember or not uh, this is how you create a VLAN you put uh, VLAN uh, 68 name data and then VLAN 69 name voice you have to do this first therefore so you can have two VLAN in the switch so let me review again what we cover so here in the distribution switch or how to set up a switch to have a dual VLAN first you need to set up a trunk port which is here FA01 trunk port and then the rest of port you can put in the data VLAN in this case is VLAN 68 and then since the 2.2 port that I use which is a uh, fast Ethernet 10 and 11 we add additional command which is switch port voice VLAN 69 in this 10 uh, 0 slash 10 port and 0 slash 11 port so these two things will have these two port will have two VLANs so if you set up all of this correctly then this uh, devices the IP phone and the PC 
will obtain the IP address accordingly. All right. Uh, the only thing that we need to set up, uh, the only thing that we need to configure for this distribution uh, 3A network to communicate with another network, we just need to set up the routing protocol. You can use OSI, OSIP or EIGRP. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this information is helpful. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.